Sapling kind of started out as a pet project where we were trying to figure out ways to make ZK snarks faster, which are kind of the foundation of shielded transactions in Zcash. And also we were trying to improve the parameter generation ceremony that was necessary for ZK snarks to function. We were also trying to uh, improve the security of the elliptic curves that are uh, that are necessary to make ZK snarks function. And so we uh, came up with a bunch of different orthogonal uh, approaches to fixing uh, d different issues and, and kind of combine them all together into one big bundle and we call it sapling and we're hoping to activate it later this year. Uh, most of the complicated parts are uh, just this design of this cryptographic design of this protocol which will allow you to perform shielded transactions more efficiently and uh, it's kind of added, added as an addition to the existing protocol with new addresses and new Merkle trees and all sorts of uh, novel and interesting things. ZK snarks are these really interesting zero knowledge proofs. Uh, zero knowledge proofs basically proving that you know some computation, that you performed a computation, that you know the input to the computation and that it succeeded. Or in other words, that you have some information that is constrained in some way, but you don't reveal what that information is. The point of sapling is to make it so that we can construct the proofs a lot faster because in the original release of Zcash and currently today before the sapling upgrade, uh, the proofs take about 40 seconds at least to construct on a modern desktop and um, also require over a gigabyte of memory to construct. So the point of sapling is to reduce these by orders of magnitude if possible. So in terms of memory, we're able to bring down what would take a gigabyte to maybe 100 or less than 100 megabytes or 50 megabytes or so. We're also able to reduce the amount of time necessary to construct the proof down from about 40, from 40 seconds, depending on what you're doing, to just a few seconds, which is a huge leap in terms of performance and making shielded transactions uh, more practical for users. It's important that in our system, shielded transactions are cheap enough that users can uh, use them on mobile phones, for example or they don't have to make a trade-off in terms of the amount of time they're spending or CPU time or their, their machine that they're using uh, in order to, to use shielded transactions because that's the whole point of Zcash is, is this privacy. So making shielded transactions ubiquitous in the ecosystem is predicated on making these, these proofs more efficient and also uh, making it so that the, the shielded transactions have the same kind of features that you can get in Bitcoin. And so if we, if we get those two things, then we can get rid of transparent addresses entirely from Zcash and uh, everyone can just be using the strictly private uh, portion of the protocol. So the way that ZK snarks work, I like to think about it in terms of an environment. The prover that's constructing the proof is kind of constructing the proof in an environment that has to be built specifically for the computation. So given a computation, you construct this environment it's hidden from them in a way and they have to traverse it. And if they can get to the end, they, they, they can compute the proof. But the person who creates the environment knows all the shortcuts and knows all the ways around it and knows how to uh, traverse it uh, without actually performing the computation. So this is the trade-off that we get. Where we get ZK snarks, we get this magical, uh, these magical proofs that are really tiny, but there's this escape hatch uh, which we have to destroy. We have to try to destroy when we construct these, uh, this environment. So that's what the parameters are. They're basically just this environment. And the parameter generation ceremony is an attempt to construct it in a way where we can feel more confident that the actual you know, uh, toxic waste or the, the second approach to constructing a, uh, constructing a fake proof is not possible. That it's destroyed and that it's irrecoverable. If the parameters are constructed in a ceremony like the one that we, can, that we perform for Zcash, even if all of the parties were dishonest, um, the, the final parameters are still secure for privacy purposes. Nothing can uh, compromise your privacy if the ceremony fails or if the parameters are constructed poorly or something.